chairman of the Kemsa board was today questioned by the Parliamentary Health Committee of concern, their procurement procedure and the now 6.2 billion shilling stock that lays in the suppliers' warehouses with no buyers, among them being at least 300,000 masks as well as 304,000 personal protective equipment. Were we rush in asking, buying too many of them, Madam Chair? Maybe. But nobody had done a projection of how long this pandemic would be. According to the committee members, it was unclear why the stock was still in Kemsa stores, with Kemsa insisting they were selling the commodities at a lower price at the time compared to other market players. If you were the lowest at that time, Nairobi Hospital will have come to buy from Kemsa and Atakan. Some of our traditional suppliers did not supply us with PPs and masks and things like those because they were getting better, better prices in the private hospitals. And while the committee members doubted the board's response, questions arose as to whether market surveys were done before the procurement of a large amount of supplies was made. In the board's defense, there was no time for that, as it was an emergency procurement under the request of the Ministry of Health. And in an instruction from the PS, instructing uh, KEMSA to procure, at the same time she's given a list of where to procure from, she's given a list of prices, and she has also list, given a list in terms of the items. What we are asking, is this normal? It's not. Okay. So that's not the norm. Yes. We have established fraud. This committee has actually established fraud in that mode of procurement. So that in itself should officiate all that has been done by KEMSA on the basis of that letter. According to Kembe Getora, they had done this with the ministry before, and even though it appeared illegal, it was not. It was just unprocedural. However, that opened a can of worms as to what the right procedure should be. According to Edward Buluma, the acting procurement officer at Kemsa, negotiations begin after goods have been delivered. There's a possibility that then you can renegotiate this price. Yes, there's a possibility. There is. Because the negotiations have not taken place. According to the committee members, a myriad of questions remain unanswered as to Kemsa's procurement process which has now seen a number of companies which deliver supplies awaiting payment. And while Kembe Getura insists that the unprocedural process applied could affect whether the suppliers are paid or not, Kemsa says ESEC or the committee is to offer direction on that. Rakhal Mugai, Citizen TV.